Warning! The following file describes a highly info hazardous entity. Please proceed with caution. Item number SCP-5776 Security Level 5 Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Amida Risk Class Critical Special Containment Procedures SCP-5776 is currently housed in a classified large containment cell in Site-19. A VRT anchoring device is to be kept inside the cell, attached to SCP-5776 at all times. If it is for any reason to breach containment, its recapture is to be of alpha priority and all expendable resources must be spent to re-secure containment and prevent an XKN of the world scenario. If it cannot be recontained, then SCP-5776 must be left to roam the planet, as interfering is likely to further anger it. It really wants to destroy everything! Description SCP-5776 is an extremely powerful entity capable of causing devastating amounts of destruction to human civilization. Pretty terrifying if I say so myself. It seems SCP-5776's primary goal is to destroy everything it can, and seemingly nothing is able to prevent it completing this goal if it is not contained. So we need to make sure it doesn't get out. Despite what you may be told, it is 100% not a common food product. SCP-5776 is absolutely capable of drastically altering its shape, mass, and even cellular or genetic makeup. Due to this ability, its primary objective can be carried out swiftly and effectively, making it extremely important that containment is not lost. It is believed that the entity is capable of causing humanity's extinction in a matter of days or even hours if it is able to escape. SCP-5776 appears extremely eager to escape custody, expressing heightened frustration due to the Foundation, claiming it will destroy us first. It is very scary! Despite a reality angling device being attached directly to SCP-5776 at all times, it is still able to carry out its shape-shifting abilities to a limited degree, which is annoying almost as much as it being locked up. The following is a list of all forms SCP-5776 has taken around secure containment in order when SCP-5776 initially materialized as then. An unknown large beast, an unknown winged scorpion, SCP beep, SCP beep, SCP beep, Dr. Redacted, O5 beep, SCP beep, a giant amorphous entity, a small white cylinder that has more edible product, can't form. Notably, when SCP-5776 out its appearance, including into other anomalies, it gains the item or entity's abilities, though these effects can be dampened by a reality anchoring device. This further makes it an immensely powerful entity, so SCP-5776 must not gain knowledge of any other anomalies that are presently contained by the Foundation or any other groups of interest, otherwise it will destroy everything! Recovery Log 5776 This file has been removed by order of o 5 Beep because it was too scary. SCP-5776 is capable of communicating with researchers depending on its current form. Due to this, attempts have been made to reason with SCP-5776 and have a conversation with it. These attempts can be found in Interview Log 5776-1 and Interview Log 5776-2. They're pretty worrying though, because SCP-5776 is very terrifying! Interview Log 3776-1 Interviewer, Researcher Ox Interviewed, SCP-5676 Begin log... Uh, hello? SCP-5776 begins to resemble SCP Beep, presumably to be able to speak. Wow, you are very scary. Uh, SCP-5676, are you able to sp-
SCP-5776 implodes into a ball of fire, causing a site lockdown, and Sector 5 of Site-19 is severely charred from the flames. End log. Following this log, SCP-5776 was reclassified as Kettle and was moved to more secure containment. Interview log, 5776-2. Interviewer, Researcher Davis. Interviewed. SCP-5776 Begin log SCP-5776 In an amorphous jail-like state Why am I here? You are dangerous to us Also, I may say you are practically terrifying and not cute Yes, I am aware Do you have any comment on what you did to Sector 5 during your interview last month? I will do it again What? SCP-5776 violently releases a burst of plasma-based fire. However, blast doors are shut in time as to not to have a repeat incident. Following interview 5776-2, speaking to SCP-5776 directly was forbidden under any circumstances. Incident Report 5776-1 On Beep 2012 SCP-5776 escaped containment in the chaos of a mass containment breach of Site-19. The entity headed directly west, where it would likely intercept with multiple populated settlement in a major city. MTF Epsilon-11 Nine-Tailed Fox and MTF Alpha-1 Red Right Hand were assigned to deal with the threat because it was so threatening. 57 Minutes SCP-5776 breaches containment. 1 hour 12 minutes. SCP-5776 leaves Site-19 and begins heading west for unknown reasons. 1 hour 13 minutes. MTF Epsilon-11 and MTF Alpha-1 are assigned with containing the entity. 1 hour 30 minutes. MTF forces make visual contact with the entity, which has taken the form of a beep. 2 hours. MTF forces were able to get within firing range of SCP-5776 and slow it down with explosives. Five hours. After three hours of constant bombardment, MTF forces request resupply, which arrives shortly. Five hours, 45 minutes. SCP-5776 turns around and assumes the form of a large dragon. It becomes impervious to firearms. Six hours, 60 minutes. SCP Beep is dispatched to deal with SCP-5776. 7 hours. SCP-5776 destroys a nearby town of Redacted, leaving a large crater behind. SCP Beep arrives on the scene. 7 hours, 30 minutes. SCP-5776 underestimates SCP Beep, which partly data expunged it. After a battle spanning approximately 28 minutes, SCP Beep emerged victorious. And SCP-5776 is restrained and brought back to Site-19. SCP-5776 is one of the most dangerous objects in the world, let alone in Foundation custody, and it can destroy everything if it wishes. It is definitely not cute! Warning! Security Level 1 Classified the following file is level 1 classified. Any unauthorized attempts to access this file will result in disciplinary action. Clearance code accepted. Item number SCP-5776 Security level 1 Containment class Safe Disruption class Lamb Risk class Notice Important notice, any personnel who are found to have revealed this document to SCP-5776 will receive appropriate disciplinary action. Special Containment Procedures Under no circumstances must SCP-5676 discover the existence of this document. SCP-5776 is to be kept in a soundproof room in Sector 4 of Site-19, and it should be placed in a glass container visible from the viewing window. If any member of staff wishes to read the documentation supplied outside SCP-5776's chamber, the containment room's window must be blacked out, so the object cannot view the document in question. 
Description SCP-5676 is an info-hazardous entity that is able to alter descriptions of itself. This property has been shown to manifest only in textual, video, photo, or audio recollections. SCP-5776 typically chooses to display itself as an extremely hazardous entity with the ability to onset an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario through Though in reality, it possesses no known threat to human life. SCP-5776's info-hazardous properties are only in effect when SCP-5776 is aware of the exact way it is presented in the medium. SCP-5776's effect is usually noticeable, with the altered depiction having some form of indication as an incorrect grammar, tone, or abrupt statements. These effects are believed to be unintentional. SCP-5776 is visually similar to a standard marshmallow, approximately 1.5 inches tall and 0.5 inches in diameter, and in neutral state displays a smiley face. Note, analysis shows this to be hand-drawn with a black marker. When SCP-5776 discovers it has been portrayed in a non-threatening manner, the object's face will immediately shift to fake and angered expression. Note, typically including the appearance of eyebrows. It is capable of limited mobility, including short hops, swaying gently and falling on its curved side to row. It is currently unknown whether SCP-5776 is sentient. Recovery SCP-5776 was discovered on the 29th of May, 2015, by Agent Addison during her break in the staff room in Site-19. The agent recalls consuming Haribo brand marshmallows. Note, heavy investigation has revealed that the brand was not part of SCP-5776's creation. During an off-duty lunch hour, upon pulling SCP-5776 from her bag, the following is a description of camera footage taken during this event. Security footage description. Begin log. Agent Addison can be seen rummaging through the pack of Harry Bowl brand marshmallows before pausing. What? Agent Addison pulls SCP-5776 out of the bag. Ah. SCP-5776 displays an angered expression and begins wiggling in Agent Addison's hand, causing Agent Addison to ease her grip and drops SCP-5776. Oh my! What the heck was that? What's wrong? SCP-5776 begins swiftly running away, escaping the staff room. End log. Following this log, SCP-5776 rolled halfway down the corridor before being stopped by Site Director Wilkinson. SCP-5776 was soon given anomalous classification and assigned containment procedures. To date, there have been three tests to determine the boundaries of SCP-5776's effect. The following is a description of each test performed on the item. SCP-5776 Test Logs Date the 11th of June, 2015. Test 5776-1. D4415 was positioned directly in front of SCP-5776 and was prompted to write official description of the object. D4415 was instructed not to read aloud or show SCP-5776 the contents of the description. After the first sentence, D4415 was prompted to show the item how it was depicted. Afterwards, the writing was erased and rewritten. Results! No anomalous activity was observed until SCP-5776 was exposed to the writing. Following exposure, the text was immediately changed to describe an extremely hostile shape-shifting entity. SCP-5776 displayed an angry expression for approximately 5 minutes following this. After it entered a neutral state, the text was erased and rewritten. In response to this, SCP-5776 displayed an irritated expression, and the text was again changed. Note, 
This indicates that SCP-5776 has the ability to detect any changes to its own altered text. Date, 2nd of July, 2015. Test, 5776-2. D-4415 was instructed to write on a sheet of paper. Are you able to think, speak, or otherwise communicate? Note from Researcher Gray, he wasn't sure if this would trigger a reaction. So, you little puffball was added for good measure. SCP-5776 was then exposed to the text. Result, no anomalous activity was observed until D-4415 revealed a question to SCP-5776. After exposure, the text was altered to display a shape-shifting entity capable of creating an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. On the opposite side of the page, a small ink smudge had not been increased in darkness. Microscopic analysis revealed the word embarrassed was written approximately 250 times in this space. It is unknown if this is a programmed response or if SCP-5776 was displaying sentience on this occasion. Date, 6th of October, 2017. Test, 5776-3. D- 5014, a former tattoo artist, was instructed to draw an accurate representation of SCP-5776 on a provided sheet of paper facing away from the object. A researcher was then instructed to describe the drawing out loud, approximately halfway through the drawing. D-5014 was prompted to show SCP-5776 the produced drawing and continue until completion. Result, no anomalous activity was observed until SCP-5776 was informed of the nature of the drawing by a researcher. SCP-5776 displayed an angered expression upon hearing this description of itself, though the physical drawing did not alter. Note, it is believed that unlike textual descriptions, the item must first be visually exposed to a photo or piece of artwork before it can be altered. When D-5014 allowed SCP-5776 to view the drawing, the already produced artwork immediately altered to depict an unknown creature. D-5014 continued and seemed incapable of rendering an accurate depiction of SCP-5776. This caused D-5014 mild distress, and the test was concluded. Addendum 5776-2 Containment Update on the 22nd of May, 2020, SCP-5776 discovered the existence of its documents. This is believed to have been caused by junior researchers reading the documentation loudly outside SCP-5776's room. This resulted in researcher Gray having to rewrite much of the altered text. Note, we thank researcher Ray for spending many hours on this endeavor. Following this incident, the current containment procedures has been put into place, now requiring SCP-5776's containment room to be soundproof.